Excellencies, dear friends, dear colleagues, if you allow me to, to call you colleagues, I've stopped doing uh, professional theoretical physics and astrophysics years and years ago. But as someone that was has the virus of science inside, I cannot stop every niche time being a bit jealous for the work that you are doing. Let me give you a simple secret that I lived a quite a long life, was scientist, then was diplomat, then was prime minister, then was a businessman, did many things in my life, now I'm president, but when somebody asked me what was the, the time when you were happiest in your life, <laughs> and if I want to be serious, I close my eyes, and the image that comes to my sort of a dreams is the year in 84-85, where as a young scientist I went to work at Cambridge University. And the image of me is me sitting in the room at the Institute of Astronomy. And the whole wall was glass with the beautiful park outside. I'm sure a lot of you know that place. And I had this great privilege having a personal computer in front of me. Because those years in Soviet Union, <laughs> it was not possible. And I was trying to do my research in uh, relativistic astrophysics using a computer. And having my coffee with Martin Rees. So I think that was sort of a heaven. You don't think about economy. You don't think about politics. You don't think about daily life. You are just a free philosopher thinking about the structure of the universe. So somehow I'm jealous of you. You can take that with you. <laughs> now I think this beautiful two presentations that were here as a fellow astrophysicist, I would like to thank you, first of all, the organizers of this conference. Workshop, conference, doesn't matter. It's not the size, it's the quality. <laughs> and here, of course, my, my thanks would go to Felix Aharonian and to Frank Rieger to Volkswagen Foundation and to Russian Armenian University and University of Munich. As far as I understand, they were the ones that organized this workshop. And my message will be, come again. Because I would like to thank all of you to making sure that Armenia is still a astronomical, astrophysical power. And I'm dreaming of a day that Armenia once again will become an astronomical superpower. <laughs> and I believe in that. And of course, for that we have to work very hard, both here in Armenia and strengthen our relations and cooperation with the world. And here, of course, Germany is the front boundary for us. It's, it's not physical distance. From the point of view of science, Germany is very close to Armenia. So this was as a fellow astrophysicist. As a Theoretical physics that I will look at says, so what's, uh, what's the big fuss of this? We knew about this 100 years ago, <laughs> that they exist. <laughs> but the reality is, of course, we knew those who belong to the, to the community of theoretical physicists. We knew about this, even belonging to the school of uh, theoretical physics, the relativistic astrophysics, Burakan school, in any case, I always knew that one day we will see this. But the reality is this is tremendous step in helping to develop general physics and our knowledge of the universe and ourselves further down, further and further and further. So it opens new doors for development. As a fellow human being, I look at this and say, well, this is fascinating. This is black hole. Wow. Indeed, it's black. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> Now, as someone that has lived also life in, in business, politics, public life, I'd like also to share with you with some observation that black holes exist not only in, in the universe. They exist in social life. They exist in economic behavior. Sometimes there are holes where, where economic means or money goes and disappears. <laughs> and it's very difficult to find where they are. It exists uh, even in public life as well. 
So public life, what I have discovered as a physicist, is, is as complex as the world, as the universe. And I've discovered also something interesting, that the laws of nature, the laws of physics, could be applied to describe public behavior as well, which is strange, but it works. I've spent some time doing some research on that one as well. And then as a president of the Republic, I look at this and say, fantastic, here I am in the beautiful building of Matenada with fellow scientists, and we are speaking about things which are important for Armenia. I mean, this beautiful uh, picture uh, would have, or discovery would have not happened if it was not just pure astronomy. It's a complex technological achievement when you are using, as far as I understood the, the technique, you are using multiple telescopes which are based on the surface of the planet. In some sense you are using the whole planet as one big telescope and you can do that if you have complex mathematics. I mean, you can do modeling of mathematics, a sort of a basic artificial intelligence. And I do believe uh, this is wonderful and I think this is another sign that the future, not only in our astronomy, but in our daily life, will be depending on the new achievements of science and technology. That's why from day one as a president, I'm preaching that this country has the potential of be becoming one of the leading countries in the world. Why? Because I, I believe that today we are facing a new world where the great achievements of the 20th century, be that in, in theoretical physics, chemistry, and other sciences, biology, are becoming tools of research, and we're just really seeing the results of them. I mean, the, the whole idea of mathematical modeling, artificial intelligence, combined with the high-resolution telescopes and their network, brings us to a huge discovery. The same will happen in our daily life tomorrow. And because the world is entering a new sort of era, more or less, not exactly, but more or less, everybody has the same chance. So I think even a small country like Armenia, if its focus is well, and if it looks at the basics of our uh, needs, which are education, scientific research, education, new technology, and involving the best technology which exists in the world and connecting with that best technology, best scientific research in the world, I think we have to have the chance of becoming one of the leaders. Small, but sometimes small can be beautiful as well because it can be managed better than others. And from that point of view, Mr. Ambassador, it gives me great pleasure to speak about our relations with Germany Last year, I think it was this year, I visited Germany twice, and uh, each and every time I had the great pleasure of visiting universities and research centers, be, be that Fraunhofer, be that Siemens research part, be that Heidelberg University or uh, Munich, and uh, ESO, the European. And I do believe that Armenia can be a part of that. Okay? You know that politically Armenia is a member of Eurasia Economic Union. We are partners with Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Belarus on economic deal. But we are the only country and the unique one that has also signed a very deep partnership with Europe, with European Union. So I think, I do believe that Ar Armenia can do the same thing in science, technology and education as well, getting into deeper partnership. Maybe we're not big enough, maybe we don't have enough cash to become just a full member of European Southern Observatory as a member, but we can be associate member or we can be a partner working together. And that will be our strength. And I was just recently in, in Portugal and uh, had very interesting and long discussions with both Prime Minister and the President about Armenia's participation in their new venture because they are trying to build new platform for small size satellites on the Azores. And they are also very keen in going into it. So the, the vision is here to make Armenia as a hub of new technology and science and education and starting for astrophysics after to the science of genetics and, and of course in the meantime when you are spare time you have to think about the meaning of life and history and come sometimes to Matenadara to think at the end of the day the whole universe and humanity is one. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you 
especially with the governments that will be interested in working with Armenia in developing technology and science in my country. Thank you very much. I wish all of you success and happiness and bon voyage home, but come back again. Because I do believe Armenia is going to become one day again an astro astrophysical superpower. Thank you very much.